I'm using this large cabinet that I actually got off of a piece of furniture that I did refurbish. First, I'll be using Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant. And I'm just painting the entire surface of the cabinet door. I ended up doing two coats. So you always want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then just allowing everything to completely dry. And don't forget to do the sides, the top and the bottom as well. Now, once that was dry in the middle of the cabinet door, I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. So you want to make sure you have a generous amount of paint on your paintbrush. Begin in the center and then just move outwards and just go back and forth with your paintbrush. If you have any white that went outside of the inner part of the cabinet, just go back over it with some more elephant and just fix that right up. Allow that to completely dry. And then I got these window Klingons from Walmart for $1.98. So all you gotta do is just peel those right off, find a good placement for them on your surface. I'm using some Mod Podge to adhere these on. So you just wanna put a generous amount of the Mod Podge on the back of the Klingons and then just place it down, smooth it out with your fingers to make sure that there are no wrinkles or air bubbles. Now you wanna make sure that the entire back of the Klingon is covered with Mod Podge. If you see that some parts, the Mod Podge starts to dry, just apply a little bit more and then you should be good to go. But again, you wanna make sure that all the edges, the middle and everything on the back side of the Klingons are completely covered in the Mod Podge. And now you could put these down as you want. I just kind of kept the same theme that it originally was on the backing. So pretty simple. So just do that to the rest of the Klingons. I definitely made sure I put some of those stars on there. And then once those were all applied, I went back over the Klingons with some more Mod Podge just to seal and protect those Klingons to make sure that none of them start peeling off and then just allow that Mod Podge to completely dry and then just to weather the surface up a little bit I just went around and used my sanding block just until I was satisfied to how this looked and I think this just came out so adorable it was super inexpensive to create and super fast and easy. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks, bye.